Our journey begins with the Neo-Expressionism movement. This style marked a return to large, emotionally charged, figurative painting after decades of abstract art. Artists like Julian Schnabel and Jean-Michel Basquiat brought raw, expressive energy back into painting making it one of the most influential styles of the decade. Next, we have the Graffiti Art Movement. Street art exploded onto the scene in the 80s with artists like Keith Haring and Lady Pink using the urban landscape as their canvas. This style was rebellious, vibrant, and it brought art to the masses in a way that had never been done before. Then, there was the rise of the pictures generation. This group of artists used photography and advertising imagery to create highly conceptual works that questioned the nature of representation and the role of mass media. Artists like Cindy Sherman and Richard Prince were pioneers of this movement. Our fourth movement is the pattern and decoration movement. This style, with its roots in the 70s, came into its own in the 80s. It was a reaction against the austerity of minimalism and celebrated ornamentation, color, and pattern. Artists like Miriam Shapiro and Joyce Kozloff were known for their intricate decorative works. Moving on, we find ourselves in the era of the new image painting movement. This style was characterized by a return to representation, but with a twist. Artists like Susan Rothenberg and Neil Jenny combined abstract and representational elements in their work, creating a fresh new take on painting. Next up is the Neo-Geo movement. This style was a response to the emotional intensity of Neo-Expressionism and sought to reintroduce cool geometric abstraction into contemporary art. Artists like Peter Halley and Ashley Bickerton were leaders of this movement. Our seventh movement is the Commodity Art or Appropriation Art movement. This style, led by artists like Jeff Koons and Barbara Kruger, used everyday objects and advertising imagery to comment on consumer culture and the commodification of art. Next, we have the lowbrow art movement. This style emerged from the underground comic and punk music scenes and celebrated the absurd, the grotesque, and the surreal. Artists like Robert Williams and Gary Panter were key figures in this movement. Our penultimate movement is the neo-pop movement. This style was a revival of pop art from the 60s, with a new focus on irony and parody. Artists like Takashi Murakami and Damien Hirst brought pop culture back into the art world in a big way. Finally, we have the Young British Artists Movement. This group, which included artists like Tracy Emin and Damien Hirst, shook up the British art scene with their provocative works and use of unconventional materials. And so, we've reached the end of our journey, from the raw emotion of neo-expressionism to the cool abstraction of neo-geo, from the rebellious spirit of graffiti art to the irony of neo-pop, the 1980s was a decade of artistic exploration and experimentation. Each of these movements and styles left a lasting impact on the art world, shaping the way we see and understand art today. So, the next time you're looking at a piece of 80s art, remember the rich tapestry of movements and styles that gave it life.